welcome back students now let us continue with our session now we will be discussing about basic soil parameters okay so let's move on basic soil parameters what we will be discussing here will be unit weight density of soil specific gravity okay these three parameters we will be discussing in detail in this session density of soil what is density in general density is mass per unit volume okay we already know in this in the soil also we will be defining the density as the same it will be mass per unit volume only mass of the soil per unit volume but it's not that we have only one kind of density in our soil solids or in our geotechnical engineering so we will continue with different types of bulk density and all let us see them one by one bulk density what is bulk density it is also known as moist density in this there will be it is represented by rho b or rho t okay it is the total mass and total volume ratio of total mass and total volume okay so this will be bulk total then dry density what is dry density mm, you can understand by its name rho d means dry in dry what happens the mass the total mass will be only due to what only due to the soil solids okay because air has no mass so we can write rho d as md upon total volume you have to remember that it's according, according to the total volume because the next parameter which is the density of solids okay this is represented by rho s is only nearly the same but here is the mass of soil solids as ever but it will be per unit volume of soil solids only vs okay so md by v in case of dry density and md by vs in case of density of soil or the density of solids okay so we can understand from this also that in this case the rho s will be greater rho s will be greater than rho d okay why is it so because vs is smaller than v we know that because v will be greater than vs you can say okay so this is a relation let's move forward saturated density what is saturated density saturated density